everyone, Jacob here again, and I'm going to show you a cool effect in Photoshop. Um, I made this up. I don't know if I, it's completely original because I don't know if there's anything out there on the internet similar like, similar like this, but um, I just wanted to say that I was messing around in Photoshop one day and I came up with this really cool effect and I just thought I might share it with you guys. Alright, so we're going to create a new document as usual and um, if you want a really nice desktop background make it the same size as your desktop background so alright we have that now create a new layer and make a perfect square um, make it a good size not too big it, don't make it like this but certainly don't make it small either make it about that size that size is pretty good now take your fill bucket and switch the color to white and fill that with white alright now just duplicate this layer alright go to select pixels on that new layer and fill that with black now go to select deselect now move the black cube under the white cube now blur the black cube layer using Gaussian blur make it about 25 pixels I'm gonna make it 20 for mine you can make it however you want alright now the next part is simple just merge the white cube layer down onto the black layer so now you know you have one solid image now just organize this wherever you want duplicate this layer and now drag this and you'll see you'll start to get this effect where you know the cubes look like they're popping out of each other or like they're hovering above each other and just keep doing that all right and I'm gonna pause the video right now and then when we come back you'll see what the final thing looks like all right so once you're done with that you're gonna look you're gonna have something that looks like this you see all I did was kept duplicating the layer and dragging them into different spots and it gives me this kind of effect alright so the next step is going to be make the background layer invisible then right click one of the layers and say merge visible that'll give you all the boxes in one layer so it's easier to work with now create a new layer above the background but below the boxes and drag in a picture alright now stretch the picture if it's you know you want to get a good resolution picture so you can do this but stretch a picture like that and now it's in the background now change the opacity first of all actually rasterize the layer first so we can work with it and then change the opacity down you can make the background layer visible again alright so now it's kind of you can see you, you, yeah we can't really see it well which is going to be important to the effect. So we turn that opacity down. Now we're going to create a new layer above the box layer. And we're going to drag in the same exact picture. So we could actually just duplicate this layer. So actually, yeah. Sorry about that. I got lost here. All right. So just duplicate that layer and you can change the opacity back up to a hundred alright and then just make that layer invisible for now now right click the thumbnail for the cube layer and say select pixels now go up back to the um, picture that's over top of the cube picture and apply the mask now that will give you this kind of effect now you can play with the opacity turn it down to about 75 percent and I think that gives a really nice looking effect it looks like you know the part of the pictures are coming out at you and that is it so I hope you followed sorry for the mistakes that I had throughout um, this was my first time actually doing this again you know because I just did it the other night and I was doing this whole tutorial by memory so anyway I hope you followed and I hope you enjoyed 
And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, see you later.